Chapter 10, One Mystery Solved. The air was warm. It was dawn. Far away, a dog barked. I think that's Henry barking, Annie said. Jack and Annie both looked out the treehouse window. We're home, said Annie. Yay! That was close, said Jack. In the distance, street lights glowed near their house. There was a light on in their upstairs window. Uh-oh, said Annie. I think mom and dad are up. Hurry. Wait. In a daze, Jack opened his pack. He pulled out the castle book. It was quite wet, but Jack placed it back with all the other books. Come on, said Annie. She started climbing out of the treehouse. Jack followed her down the rope ladder. They reached the ground and took off running between the gray black trees. They left the woods and ran down their quiet street. They got to their yard and crept across the lawn. They opened the front door carefully and slipped inside their house. They're not downstairs yet, whispered Annie. Shh, said Jack. He led the way up the stairs and down the hall. There was no sign of their mum or dad, but Jack could hear water running in the bathroom. Their house was so different from the dark, cold castle. It was safe and cozy and friendly. Annie stopped at her bedroom door. She gave Jack a smile, then disappeared inside her room. Jack hurried into his room. He took off his damp clothes and pulled on his dry, soft pajamas. He sat down on his bed and opened his backpack. He took out his wet notebook. He felt around for the pencil, but his hand touched something else. Jack pulled the blue leather bookmark out of his pack. It must have fallen out of the castle book. Jack held the bookmark close to his lamp and studied it. The leather was smooth and worn. It seemed ancient. For the first time, Jack noticed a letter on the bookmark. It was a fancy M. Jack opened the drawer next to his bed. He took out the gold medallion. He looked at the letter on it. It was the same M. Now this was an amazing new fact. Jack took a deep breath. At least that was one mystery solved. The person who had dropped the gold medallion in the time of the dinosaurs was the same person who owned all the books in the treehouse. Who was this person? Jack placed the bookmark next to the medallion. He closed the drawer. Jack picked up his pencil. He turned to the least wet page in his notebook and started to write down this new fact, the same. But before he could draw the M, his eyes closed. Jack dreamed they were with the night again. All three of them were riding the black horse through the cool, dark night. They rode beyond the outer wall of the castle and up over a moonlit hill. Then they all rode into the mist. The end.